Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, whoa. Get ready to watch a Happy Scrapper video. Happy Scrapper, yeah, yeah, here we go. Good morning, Happy Scrappers. I am on my way out to uh, a barn clean out we've been working on. I thought it'd be fun for you guys to uh, take a ride along and uh, I could kind of give you guys a little bit uh, of a heads up on what to look for and uh, how to start out with a, a barn clean out. Sorry about the, if it's shaky, I'm in the yard truck and uh, it's not a high performance machine. It uh, gives kind of a rough ride, but we'll start to look through this. And uh, I know there's a lot of videos watching guys you know, go do trash pickup and stuff. And I love those, I watch them myself. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, doing the barn clean outs and you know, how much trouble is it? What are you, what are you looking at doing? What kind of things do you get? And uh, so we'll look at this and you guys can kind of get an idea if that's something that will work out in, uh, in your area. Make sure there's no car coming. And uh, obviously it's regional you're not going to be able to do a lot of barn cleanouts in Manhattan or uh, you know Miami Beach or anything like that but uh, most general areas of the United States are have barns and and it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, you know a farm it, it could be just a, a big uh, storage building or, or uh, you know a, it can be just like a garage like that uh, with real estate people uh, always wanting clean outs and you know families are starting to sell homes and stuff and they don't want to deal with stuff so basically that's what's uh, going on here is family has sold this property and they want the barn cleaned out to, to be able to sell it so I'm gonna get out and do the gate here and uh, make sure I don't lose somebody's cows and have to pay for that so I'll get back with you as soon as we get to the barn okay we made it up here to the pole barn it's uh I don't know, get, getting ready to storm, so I hope the light's uh, enough where you can see in here pretty decent. Uh, this was uh, had various pieces of equipment in it. I'll show you some of those pieces when we get back to the shop. Uh, this barn hadn't been used in, in quite a while. Uh, there is some cows that's took up residency, but they haven't been here very long. Uh, so for safety reasons, what you need to do is it's unless you absolutely have to it's not a good idea to scrap the first day you go out uh, if you can set it up with the homeowner or landowner to go out and you can scout the area uh, identify any problems that you may have uh, this time of year you don't want to wind up getting bee stung uh, snake bit or uh, you know be working in an unsafe structure you want to go out and make sure all the beams are are uh, sturdy. There's no damage for what you're going to be working underneath. Uh, you know, you can look at a barn and say, hey, this, this is going to be okay. I'm working it in okay. And, for instance, you hook that old trailer up over there and pull it out, and you're not paying attention like I do sometimes and, and hit that beam or something, and then the whole structure comes down on you. But you want to look around the first day, uh, sound stuff, take you a stick, hit stuff, Watch out for uh, uh, problem areas. That that container right up there has a big wasp nest in it. Uh, we took that, took care of that a couple different times. Uh, but they're pretty resilient. Uh, even cows, you have to watch out for cows. If a lot of you guys scrap, I know, and take your dogs along with you, uh, dogs really don't work well with uh, cattle unless they're used to the dog. Uh, a dog can cause a cow to uh, to charge and. And you think it's funny and you laugh off it a little bit, but those people get killed every year by cattle. Uh, but if you go in your first day and do your inspection, and of course, obviously, you want to look around and make sure this is going to be profitable for you. Uh, it's a business, after all. You don't want to go in and, and promise somebody you're going to clean up their area, uh, you know, and then there's five or six trips to the, to the landfill. Uh, and then you've got $40 worth of scraps. So uh, you need to make sure that uh, it's going to be profitable for you. There's a big expense in my area. Uh, tires, to take those off to the landfill where I go, those are $5 a tire. 
that cost you not paying. But, uh, you know, look around and make sure you get every piece of equipment identified. Uh, these can be a gold mine uh, for the right people. Right there's a, I don't, know, I don't know how to work zoom on my camera, but right there's some type of implement that will be taken out uh, on the top of that. I think that's a cedar box, not cedar wood, but like where you put your seeds in it and stuff. Uh, there's some handheld uh, pieces of equipment. Uh, we sell a lot of stuff on uh, ETSY. If you're a scrapper, you, you really need to go to, uh, uh, it's Etsy. That's funny. I wouldn't have said eBay AY for eBay, but anyway, uh, just like this little shelf here. Uh, there's no telling what can be found in that that uh, that somebody's dying to have on Etsy. So uh, it's maximizing your profits the the way you do things and, and do it right. So when I get home, I may uh, I may show you uh, uh, the, when I go to the scrapyard with this load we got there now. So uh, but I'll definitely show you some of the implements and stuff that we've got at home it came out of this barn fine and hopefully you guys can start picking up some of these barn clean outs and, and general clean outs uh we'll talk a little bit more later on in this video about how to go about uh acquiring these jobs so let's head to the scrap yard okay this is some of the stuff that came out of the uh the barn clean out that we're working on today there's a log hook or a bud hook or a tongue hook whatever you want to call it there is a uh C tine uh, cultivator or ripper. Most everybody calls it a cultivator. Uh, there's a PTO elbow. And of course, uh, uh, every barn's got to have a pitchfork. A uh, little shovel. There's another uh, PTO elbow. Three point. A nice uh, 30 foot tow chain. Uh, we always call them a bop hammer. It's got rubber ends on it. There's another homemade log or a foot hook. There's a piece to a, uh, a finishing mower. Uh, there's a PTO uh, elbow protector. And little things that, that turn into gold is, is like this piece here, that pulley. Uh, it's got a little bit of rattlesnake skin on it. But that's a, a good ETSY. Why do I keep saying ETSY? It's ridiculous. A good Etsy. Uh, item right there. It's, it's weighty. It, it's customers like that kind of thing. Uh, you know, makes a good decorating piece. And, and what's perfect about that is the size. It's super easy just to pop into a flat rate uh, box and, and send it just about anywhere you want to you want to send it. These barn cleanouts and, and well, just residential cleanouts in general, uh, they can be very profitable uh, with all the equipment and everything that's coming out of this one. It's, it's very possible we could see the, the $1,000 mark. Uh, and that's for, for two days of work and dodging a, a couple of cows. But, you know, and this one was produced from a Facebook ad. Uh, you know, and the problem I've got with Facebook ads is, well, not mine, obviously, because they work, but other people's Facebook ads, there's nothing worse than to go on Facebook Marketplace and you see a generic picture and the description on the ad says free scrap metal. So you click on it and then the description says, we'll pick up any scrap metal you have. You know, it, that's ridiculous. If somebody was looking to give away scrap metal, they're not gonna be looking for an ad that says free scrap metal. If you're looking to, to, to sell your car, you're not gonna go online and, and look for everybody that's selling a car that's that's ridiculous you need to start uh, having your ads say uh free cleanup or uh, uh free junk removal or uh free you know scrap metal haul away and and, and write a nice uh write up and description on there and, and and you know if you need to go back and have somebody else proofread it uh, you know, make sure you don't have run on sentences and, and words spelled wrong and you know Just about every one of my videos. I keep stressing be professional if you're if you're professional You will go where the big money's at You know and, and I hate to say it and I'm not being prejudiced or any kind but but people that give away expensive stuff 
have money to begin with. I mean, that's just how it works. And, and they're looking for somebody that's going to come into their place professionally, take care of what's need to be taken care of, and, and it's gone. They don't want a, you know, a bunch of dope heads and, and uh, that kind of thing coming in and messing around with their stuff and, and picking through the good stuff, and then you never see them again. So anyway, that's my soapbox. Anyway, get on, put you some ads out, put you some flyers, go to your local service station, uh, filling station, that kind of thing, post them up, and you'll get the jobs, and they do happen. And I'll make sure that uh, I'll start filming some more of the videos from, from the beginning about contact with the people and, and estimating and how it goes that way, and, and uh, I hope I can help you out that way. So Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and happy scrapping.